This morning we had a session on stem cells and trans differentiation approaches for treating diabetes. So uh, Dr. Chan and myself kind of reviewed the current state of the field and looking at beta cell replacement as a means of um, treating people with diabetes to relieve them from the burden of exogenous insulin or insulin injection. So both of our talks involve strategies for replacing the beta cell deficit in patients with diabetes, whether it be from stem cells such as I talked about, or as Dr. Chan talked about, coaxing other cells in the body to function like a mature pancreatic beta cell. In my presentation, I reviewed the status of the research looking at converting pluripotent stem cells either into pancreatic progenitor cells or mature beta cells that can then be transplanted uh, to reverse diabetes. And I talked about studies involving macro encapsulation, whereby we can take the pancreatic progenitor cells, put them in uh, macro encapsulation devices that can just be put under the skin, and after a period of three to four months can reverse diabetes in animals. In my presentation, I first mentioned the, uh, the fact that insulin gene therapy, which is the most common type of gene therapy that uh, people have tried in animals, is probably not the best approach because it's so difficult to uh, regulate the insulin gene when you do it by gene transfer. In the second part of my talk, I just talked about the transfer of uh, transcription factors and developmental factors to the liver of animals to induce new pancreatic islet formation inside the liver. In our field, we're quite excited that the company in California called Biocyte has already initi initiated clinical trials. They've been approved here in the US and in Canada um, and have transplanted pancreatic progenitor cells derived from stem cells put into devices that are then inserted under the skin of patients and this is so far uh, I understand been done with about four to six patients so we're really keen to see uh, how those results turn out. When people left our session I hope that they were excited about the potential of this field um, especially noting that regulatory agencies have given the green light for uh, the stem cell approach um, and I hope that they um, realize that this is a good area to invest uh, further research in because we do need to do more research both in the stem cell approach that I discussed and the very promising reprogramming or differentiation of other cells in the body to insulin producing cells as was discussed by Dr. Chan. So I hope people left excited about this area and uh, will consider doing more research in this area because ultimately we believe it's a potential cure for diabetes.